안녕하세요. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make stir fry dried anchovy 멸치 볶음. This is one of the most common side dishes in Korea. It's quick and easy to make and it has a sweet and salty taste, so it really goes well with rice. We use small and tiny anchovy when we make 멸치 볶음. 멸치 means anchovy and 볶음 means stir fried. Especially anchovies are rich in calcium, which is good for making strong bones. What's more, I'm going to put walnuts to add some crunch texture and to make this dish more delicious. You can use any nuts you have, like peanuts or almonds. Okay, then let's set the table. First, cut walnuts in small pieces. And stir fry walnuts for 2 to 3 minutes on low heat without oil. After that, move them to plate. Next, put the dried anchovies in a strainer. Shake gently so that the smallest things and broken pieces fall through. And heat a skillet over medium heat and add 1 tablespoon of oil. Stir-fry dried anchovies until those turn out a light brown color. Through this process, you can get a crunch texture. After that, move them to plate. To make a sauce. In a bowl, put soy sauce, sugar, minced garlic, and oligosaccharide. You can substitute honey for oligosaccharide. Mix well. And heat a skillet over medium heat and add the sauce. When it boils, put anchovies and walnuts. Mix the seasonings with the anchovies and walnuts until they are well coated. And add sesame oil and sprinkle with sesame seeds. When it's done, serve with rice or let it cool down and put them in an airtight container. You can keep them in the refrigerator for up to 3 weeks. Okay, my rice and mirchi bokkum are ready. I made this in 15 minutes. As you know, a quick and easy recipe is always good. Okay, then let's try this. Mm. It's sweet and salty and nutty and crispy. Anchovies are really tiny, so it's easy to chew and it's well coated with sauce. Mm. Mm. 
I think is not only good for as a side dish with rice, but also good for as a snack with beer. It's well seasoned because this anchovy is salty itself, and the crunch texture from the walnut is really good. When you don't have an appetite, you can make a rice bowl with this mirchi bokkum like this. Okay. Smells good. With this rice bowl, you can take various nutrients. Mm. Today, I made mirchi bokkum. You can make it easily at home. If you like this recipe, then thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find more recipes for Korean cuisine. See you next time. Bye. Annyeong.